So Thursday's workout's got a pretty scary name, Fire Breathing Dragon, but let's take a look at it and just see how bad it is. So we're gonna start with nine on the minute, 40 shoulder taps. So this is when we're up in a push-up position. We're alternating left and right. We're working on shoulder and core stability integration, teaching your body how to do two things at once. Then two reps per leg of a four lunge matrix. These are gonna be stepping forward, stepping out, stepping back, a little bit of a pattern, thinking about all the way our legs move. And we got some single leg work in all the planes. And then 30 to 40 seconds of reverse skips where the skipping rope's gonna be going backwards. And then we got a 20 minute EMOM. We're gonna have 30 seconds of battle ropes, 30 seconds of alternating jumping lunges, 30 seconds of a cardio piece, either biking or rowing, and then 30 seconds of double under practice. Four exercises, 20 minutes, we'll work through this five times, and it really doesn't matter where you start. So we'll be able to split it up, start wherever you like, and we'll get working through this, and battle ropes are always a ton of fun. And then we've got some accessory work at the end. We've got wall slides, working on that scapular control and range of motion in the shoulders. Serratus press, very similar to the scapular press, the serratus is a little muscle that runs inside your shoulder blade and helps suck your shoulder blade down to your chest wall, keeping it nice and stable. And then Jefferson curls. This is where we basically fold ourselves over and look at the worst deadlift form in the world. That's why we're not using a lot of weight, but remember your spine is meant to move. And so we wanna keep it flexible and moving properly. Looking forward to seeing you for Thursday.